fun. We are near the end of November, or No Shave November, which if you don't know is a month long international event to raise awareness and funds for prostate cancer. To raise awareness, participants don't shave for the entire month. Some people end up with hairy armpits, hairy beards, and the biggest one is the mustache. Personally, I got a little fuzzy growing on the legs, so every time someone's like, wow, Lacey, why do you have fuzzy legs? I can be like, well, duh, it's November, dude. And then we can talk about prostate stuff. So the prostate is a small walnut sized gland about this big that sits about two inches up inside the anus of the male body. The prostate is legit. It feels good when it's stimulated. It produces half or more of the liquid that comes out during ejaculation, but it's also the source of cancer for about 186,000 men in the US every year. Preventing prostate cancer is... Eh, we don't totally get it yet. We know that it's partially genetics and it's partially lifestyle. So genetics out of your control. But lifestyle, there's some control there, some stuff you can do. For the most part, keeping a healthy prostate is the same thing as just keeping a healthy body in general. Eating right and exercising, eating enough fiber, eating your fruits and vegetables, keeping the smoking down, keeping the drinking to a minimum. You know the drill. There have also been a number of studies recently suggesting that regular ejaculation can decrease your likelihood of getting prostate cancer. So you should do that. The good news about prostate cancer, the vast majority of victims survive and many are cured. This is why science and technology is awesome. The technology that we have now has lowered the mortality rate from 9% just 15 years ago to like a fraction of a percent now. So the goal of Movember in regards to prostate cancer is to find more effective ways to diagnose and treat it. And to do so, just last year Movember raised over $126 million for research and treatment through the Prostate Cancer Foundation. It's a lot of money. Behold the mustache power. I attribute some of the success of Movember to the fact that they were able to make it sort of trendy. No Shave November has become sort of a thing in recent years. And with its growing popularity, there's also been considerable controversy around the idea of women participating. Angry people across the internet have been throwing tantrums about the consequences for women who dare not shave for an entire month. My favorite being No D December. Literally thousands of people have voiced the opinion that if women participate, they are disgusting, dirty, even dumbasses for joining No Shave November. My initial thought? Okay then. Why do these people feel like so passionate about telling women what to do with their bodies? This is an ongoing question, really. Honestly, if someone ever threatened me with a No D December for not shaving, that would be an instant No V ever. Shaving off body hair is a personal choice, regardless of gender. And the idea that women are not allowed to participate is not only a sexist double standard, it also undermines the whole cause. Prostate cancer affects men, it affects their families and loved ones, and it also affects trans women. So I'm curious, did any of you participate in No Shave November? If you're a woman, did anyone give you any shit about it? You should let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like A Naked Notion on Facebook, and I'll be back next week with another video. Oh, and P.S. Have a happy Thanksgiving! You know, we just don't